Hi everyone, welcome to today's follow along balance day tutorial. We're gonna be focusing on just the side to side and front to back balance days. So let's just get straight into it. Because my back is to you, I'm not going to be mirroring this video. You should be able to just follow along. My right is your right still, if that makes sense. So hands on hips, let's get started with the balance day side to side. Going to the right side, we're gonna start with just side, back, forward. Other side, side, back, forward. Right, back, forward, and left, back, forward. Two more, right, back, forward. Last one, left, back, forward. Hopefully the coordination wasn't too bad. We are gonna try this again with a little bit more emphasis on the technique of the legs. I'm gonna be using a ballet bar, you don't have to. I'm using it mainly because I'm gonna be going really, really slowly. It's just easier for me to have something stable to hold on to as I do this. Hands on hips or hands on bar, whatever it is that you wanna do. We're gonna to go to the right side. You're gonna fondue, ball, change. To the left, left, back, forward, and right, back, forward, and left, fondue, both knees side, back, forward, right, knees side, make sure that back foot is pointed, back, forward, last time, fondue behind, remember foot has to be pointed, so no relaxed foot, pointed foot, back, forward, and that's it. Let's go over some common mistakes that I see with the legs in balance A. So when you do that reach right before you step onto the right side, I noticed that it's very common to have a relaxed foot here because you know you're gonna put weight for that fondue. So most people kind of have their foot hanging out and they just go to it. But what you really want is a nice pointed foot when it's off the ground and then you go to it and that back foot has to be pointed too because the same situation happens where most people know they're gonna go back so they don't wanna point that foot. They just are preparing for that back with that foot already semi-flexed like this the whole time. You really want to think about pointing in between every single movement. This is just a little piece of detail and something to just keep in mind. Okay, now let's move on to learning the basic arms for the side to side balance. So don't worry about your legs right now. I want you to just follow along. Let's start with our arms open in second position, okay? And I want you to start with your right arm. So this arm for you. Five, six, seven, eight, and uh, down, and open. Arm drops, go through first, open and drop, and open, and drop, and open. Two more, drop, and open, and drop, and open. So the breakdown is your arm goes down, not necessarily down to where your thigh is. So we're not touching. It's really subtle and in front of you. Go through first position, front of belly button, and then open. So down, but slightly in front of you, belly button and open. Down, belly button, open. Down, belly button, and open. And that's the basic technique. I think what is a little bit confusing potentially is getting the first balance with arms and legs correctly. But if you can get the first one right, <laughs> usually the rest of them will go well. So let's try adding in the arms and the legs together. We'll start going in this direction, okay? So if I were to balance this direction, it would be opposite arm that would drop. Balance, side, back, forward. Side, back, forward. Down and open. Arms down, arms open. Arms down, arms open. Arms down and open. Side, back, forward. And that's it, everyone. So that was your basic balance side to side with the arms. Now we'll move on to balance front and back. Let's learn the basic leg coordination like we did with the side to side. So what I want you to start off with is stepping front with your right foot. So it's gonna look like front, 
ball, change. Now step back with your left foot, back, ball, change, step, front, ball, change, step, back, ball, change, two more, front, ball, change, back, ball, change. So usually with the balance, say forward and backwards, you won't really be facing the audience straight on like this. Most of the time it's done facing a diagonal. So we just did it facing the wall, but I wanna try this again, but facing the right corner. So again, starting with stepping onto our right leg, front, let's get ready, five, six, seven, eight, step on the right leg, ball, change the back, now on the left leg, ball, change, right leg, ball, change, left leg, ball, change two more, right, ball, change, left, ball, change. Let's try this again, but with our left side. So face your left corner, you're gonna step out with your left leg. Five, six, seven, eight. And fondue, ball, change that back with your right leg, ball, change, front, ball, change, right leg, back, ball, change, step front with the left leg, ball, change, step back, ball, change. That was it, everyone. It just takes a little bit of time to get that coordination, but you just learn the foundations of the front and back balance. Before we move on, I just wanna talk a little bit about the side to side versus front to back balances. So with the front and back balances, um, we talked about how you are actually facing a diagonal to go front and to go back and to go front and to go back, right? But a stylistic thing that a lot of dancers and choreographers really like to do is to twist the shoulder front while keeping the hips to the diagonal. So like this, and sometimes if you're not paying close attention, you might get it confused to look like a side balance because of how twisted and forward the shoulders are. Now we're gonna add in the upper body for the front back balances. So let's reposition ourselves facing the right corner with your hips. Let's start with our hands on shoulders. And again, a common stylistic thing is that the hips will be facing the corner, but the shoulders will be facing and slightly twisted towards the audience. So what I want you to do is step out with your right leg for the front ball change, back ball change. So I'm tilting my right elbow up, ball change, tilting my right elbow down, ball change, right leg front, ball change, left leg back, ball change. I'm just tilting the shoulders while staying slightly twisted. This is something that I feel like is not explicitly mentioned in classes sometimes, but the shoulder twisting is a really important aspect for the front and back balances before you add in the arms. Because if you add in the arms and you don't have the correct directional tilt for the shoulder, it looks very off. So let's try this going to the left side now. So again, we'll set ourselves up by facing that left corner. We're gonna step out with the left leg first for the front balances. Shoulders slightly twisted towards the audience. Let's get ready to step out with the left leg. Ready and front, back, forward, left elbow down, back, forward, left leg forward, right leg back, left leg forward and tilt your elbow down, tilt your elbow up, left elbow down, left elbow up, back forward, elbow down, back forward. Now let's add in the arms. I'm gonna be facing the camera for this one. I'm starting in a third position and then elongating both arms so that both palms are facing the ground 
And what I like to practice with is just twisting my shoulder so that my back arm is slightly behind me now. This is actually what's happening when you're doing your front and back balances. Your shoulders are a bit twisted. And when you do your front balance, your front arm goes up. When you do your back balance, your front arm goes down. Front arm up, front arm down. Up and down with the shoulders tilting and down and this is what's going on so this might be a little bit confusing but i want us to just try out the coordination really really slowly going to the right side so start with your arms in third position so your right arm should be in front of your belly button now face the corner the right corner and elongate both palms down and now I want you to try the arms and the legs. So stepping out with your right foot first. Ready? And fondue, back, forward, go back, ball, change, right leg forward, ball, change, left leg back, ball, change, right foot forward, ball, change, left foot back, ball, change. Let's do two more. Front, ball, change, tilt the shoulders back, ball, change. There's actually a little bit more to talk about, but I think this video has already gone on long enough. So let's try this out to the left side. Again, one arm is doing a lot of work and the other one is just kind of hanging out for now. So starting in third position arms, facing the left corner, elongate both arms, so that both palms are facing down. And since we're going to the left side, we're gonna start with stepping out on the left foot first to go forward. Ready? And left foot forward, ball, change, right leg back, ball, change, tilt the shoulders, ball, change, right foot back, ball, change, left foot, ball, change, Right foot, ball, change two more. Left foot, ball, change. Right foot, ball, change. Okay, I hope that was helpful in your introduction into learning the balances. Thank you so much for dancing along with me today, everyone. I hope to be making more videos like this because I love really coordinating challenging steps and breaking them down really slowly and eventually building up on them so that you can start using them in choreography one of these days. Um, I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.